Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at colorizing white in Photoshop. Now a person who was on my channel recently posed this question. I came up with a solution for them from an existing video, but I think I have a better solution today. So let's have a look at this. This is an image which I've downloaded from unsplash.com. It's by Terry Lamartre. And I'm going to give you a link to that in the description below. I chose it because it's a relatively simple image, but we have a couple of elements that we can recolor, so it's going to be quite effective. I want to recolor this wall. So the method I'm going to suggest you use is a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's see how that's going to work. We'll choose layer and then new adjustment layer and then hue saturation. I'll click OK at this dialog. And what we want to do in the properties panel here is to use the colorize option because this allows us to apply color to our wall. So we're going to increase the saturation because we want quite saturated color. And we're going to decrease the lightness because we want to actually embed this color in the wall. And you can see that this tool is really handy because it's got the texture of the wall underneath. So we're not losing the brick texture. We're not just painting on flat color. We're actually applying color to the wall. And so at this point, you can just choose the color that you want to use. Now, I want to use a sort of pink because I want the window itself to be sort of yellow. So we're going to play around with that concept. So I now have my wall painted pink. I want to extract the window from this. So I don't want to affect the window. There are a number of ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one of them. One of them is to go and get the quick selection tool. I'm going to use this in add mode. So there's three little buttons up here. I'm going to use add mode, which means that I can drag across these black areas and just add each of them successively to my selection. This is going to help me to eliminate these black areas or these black windows from my color. So I'm going to save this. So I'm just going to choose select and then save selection. I'm just going to call this glass. Because saving it as a selection actually saves it in the channels here. So you can see that there's a channel called glass. So we can get back to that at any time. So if we lose our selection right now, it doesn't matter. In fact, I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to press Control D on a PC. That's Command D on a Mac. We can come to this layer and we can apply this selection to this layer if we want to. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Make sure that you've got your mask selected. Go to Select go to load selection. You're going to go and load your glass. You can see that the mask is white, which means if we want to block out these areas, we have to use the opposite of white, which is black. So I'm just making black my foreground color. And I can now just paint into that layer using the paint bucket tool. Or I could use Alt Backspace Option Delete on the Mac to fill with the current foreground color. But you can see in here, my mask is now black where these areas are. So we haven't actually embedded color now into this area that the glass is. That's sort of like got a hole poked through it. But let's see how we could now select the window. And I'm going to select the window just with the rectangle tool. So I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. Let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see where we are. And I'm going to drag over this window because it is pretty square. I want to add to it, so I'm going to make sure that I'm in add mode here, which is add to selection. So that's just fine. So I can go ahead and just drag over this additional area. Of course, if I wasn't in add mode, I could hold shift down and that would put me in add mode. So this is my new selection here. Let's just go and save it. And this is going to be window frame and ledge. And again, as we watch down here, you'll see that there's a new channel for window frame and ledge. So what I want to do is to now color this window frame. So let's go with it still selected and choose layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. The mask has been applied to this layer. So this is the only area that we're affecting. I'm going to colorize it. I'm going to increase my saturation, decrease my lightness and go and find a color to use. Well, I wanted to make this a sort of yellow. So I'm just going to tweak the color here. Let's zoom back out again. So we've got the yellow color being applied by this adjustment layer and the pink color being applied by this adjustment layer. And the two are quite separate. Now, if I want to soften the edges of the mask, let's have a look and see how we'll do that. I'm going to get the zoom tool and let's just select over this so that we can get into the areas causing problems. 
Here you can see that the mask is black where we are removing the color and white where we're adding it. Well, we've got a bit too much yellow here, so we want to be painting in black. So I've got black targeted here. For my brush, I have a nice soft brush. It's quite small and it's got zero hardness. So it's got a fluffy edge. Making sure that I have the mask selected, I'm going to click here once, hold down the shift key and click over here. So that's painting this sort of fluffy edge brush over the mask and that's just softening the edges a little bit. You don't want to be working at this stage with a hard edge brush because that's just not going to give you the results that you're looking for. So I'm just using this brush. Now if I want to go back and reapply the mask, if I got the edge wrong, I'm just going to switch colors. Go back to my brush tool, make sure I'm painting with black, click, shift click just to soften the edges. Here I can do the same thing and across the top here I'll probably just try and paint in the edges just to make the edge a little bit smoother. Now you can spend more time on this, it's up to you. So here's the current result. Now you will notice from the mask layer here that everything in this window is selected so the yellow is actually being dumped also into the glass but we have the selection for the glass already made. So let's go to select and let's go to load selection and let's go and get the glass. So this is the glass area and because this area is white in the mask, if we put black in here inside the mask, then we're going to remove the glass from this yellow. So again, I have black selected as my foreground color. I'll just use the paint bucket tool. I'm just going to click in each of these areas just to add back in the black into that mask. So now the only area that's been colored is the area that is around the glass, not the glass itself. Whenever you make selections in Photoshop of things like glass or a house or something, it's a really good idea to save it as a selection so you can always get back to it later on. So this is our finished project. We have a white wall that has now been recolored. We have some yellow color around the window and we have pink color on the wall. And it's all been done very simply and it's all fully editable here in Photoshop. Before we finish up this video, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.